Hey everybody, welcome back to Laptop Seniors. Today we're gonna get a haircut, a haircut in Panama. That's something different because ultimately if you're here, you're gonna need one. This is gonna be the second time in this particular place called Barb Man. I don't know if they do ladies there or not actually, although they got a lot of cool things, which I'll tell you about and I'll actually show you what it's like to get a haircut in Panama City, Panama. Hey Pat, I remember you getting excited about coming back to Barber Man even before we left home. I do like this place. I love the vibe here too, it's pretty awesome. And I love watching how meticulous all the barbers here are. They're using, switching out and using all different kinds of tools, all different levels of clippers, razors, scissors, you name it. Yeah, you mentioned that the, he was changing clippers a lot. Yeah, I'm really interested in that. I've done my share of haircuts since I was eight years old, coming from a family of hairstylists but I've never used clippers for a cut. It's always a little too scared. But uh, I love the way he had changed the height of the clipper and going over different sections and then doing a medium height in between the sections just to gradient. It was really cool. Yeah, very cool. getting your ears cleaned up. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> and they also have a bar. Yeah, so it's no problem for me coming to keep you company while you get your hair done. I was offered a drink, but of course it was Tempranillo. I'm showing you here the uh, hair washing sinks from the back of the salon. There's the other angle of looking at Pat. Over to the left, you're going to see the manicure table. And behind the table to the left is actually two private stalls for pedicures. So, men get all the parts cleaned up. Yeah, very, that's uh, pretty neat. One of the things he's about to do here, he's going to take out a, a, what looks like a straight razor, except it's a straight razor attached to a comb. He's going to put a brand new blade in and he's going to start doing my hair with that razor thing. Here he's got it right here. And what's neat about it is, you know, when you first wash your hair and it dries, you get like those little frizzy cuts, you know, up sticking up. He's taking those off little by little. I mean, that is really meticulous. Yeah, I really enjoyed watching Edward and uh, studied his methods. And of course, the bill, this is the bill, $21.41. How's your name? What's my name? Edward. Edward. Edward? Okay, thank you, Edward. You're welcome. Anytime. Excellent haircut. Thanks a lot. So this is where it is. It's basically if you stand at the Waldorf Astoria, you see it upstairs there. You're facing the Waldorf. You're on the right street. It's just to the right. Just walk down. There's the elevator. And you get to this corner, and it's the building with the foliage, with all the green foliage, second floor. That's where it is. Pros and cons, pros, easy to find, great haircuts, nice atmosphere, oh my God, there's a bar, and it's a reasonable price. For a con, it can be tricky to describe the cut you want without the language. Getting a haircut in Panama City, Panama. So it's gonna come up at some point, I thought I'd show you what it's like. If you like what we're doing, Laptop Seniors, definitely subscribe. That really helps the channel. And of course, hit that bell for notifications. That way you know when we put out something new. And being in Panama right this moment for the next couple months, we're doing a lot of videos. A lot of them have been shot already. So there's gonna be a pretty good run on videos popping up all through uh, Panama from one end to the other. So again, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And like him, we're out of here. See ya. Come back and see us again soon.